get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey, welcome back, everybody. I get it. It is going to be a hot one. Uh, hot, too hot to, to do a lot of cooking. So this is perfect. It's a, a great big batch of pasta salad. And I love making a big batch of pasta salad during the week because then we tend to eat it all week long. We pack it for lunches and even on a hot night tonight, like tonight, it's a, a perfect, nice, light dinner. So this is a chicken pesto salad. Um, and when I'm grilling chicken, like Sundays is one of the days that you know we'll fire up the grill and um, grill chicken or, or steaks. I always think about grilling a few extra pieces of chicken, and then that way, you know, leftovers in my book are a really good thing, and you can use them in salads, or in this case, a big pasta salad later in the week. So why not do that? Or you can even um, just go to the grocery store and pick up a rotisserie chicken for this recipe, or they even have pre-grilled chicken breasts in the deli at, at Festival Foods if you want to go that route and really keep it simple. So this is um, a pesto. Uh, the dressing for this is pesto flavored, which I love, which is fresh basil and garlic and a little olive oil and Parmesan cheese. You can make your own, or you can just, again, pick it up at the grocery store. So we're going to keep it real easy breezy, and we're, we've got one container of pesto sauce. I like to go for the kind in the grocery store that's in the refrigerated section near the fresh pastas. I, it's, I think it tastes a little bit better. Now, we're going to bind this together with just a couple tablespoons of mayo. You don't need a whole lot, and you could even leave the mayo out or use light mayo if you want to keep it nice and light, and then just a little bit of olive oil, and that's going to thin out the pesto. So this is our dressing, and it just doesn't get much easier than that, does it? So then I took some pasta. I boiled it, but don't overboil it, and then let it cool a little bit. You can just run some cool running water over it. I'm using whole wheat pasta. I thought we'd keep this a little bit healthy and light, but any type of like a tubular pasta, penne, bow tie would be nice too some of those spiral-shaped pasta. So whatever you have, whatever's on sale. And I just toss that together. Pasta salads I like to make a couple hours before serving. So get them into the refrigerator or the morning of. If you do make it a little bit more ahead of time or you're going to be making a big batch and eating it during the week, I always do a little dressing check uh, because pasta tends to soak up whatever you're, you know, the dressing, um, especially when it's refrigerated. So sometimes you might need to add a little bit more mayo or a little bit more olive oil um, just to, you know, bring it back to life and not have it be real dry if you're making it ahead of time. So for some color, I'm adding some diced cherry or grape tomatoes or just seeded diced tomatoes work fine too. Again, we've got a few cups of leftover grilled chicken. Told you this was easy. This is perfect for baby showers, the ladies' luncheon, great for picnics, or like I say, a great lunch or nice light dinner. And then I top it before serving with some shredded Parmesan cheese. And if you want a little crunch, you could throw some pine nuts on top too. So there you go. It's my pesto chicken salad. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. And make sure and watch Living with Amy today, an all-new show, all-new recipes. We're celebrating summer with a chicken bruschetta bake and two fun salad recipes, too. A new twist on macaroni salad and a new twist on coleslaw. So we'll see you here, Living with Amy, right after Good Day Wisconsin. And I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Make sure and watch Good Day Wisconsin Sunday. I'm grilling up some steaks with a quick, easy mushroom sauce. Yum. Pete and Rachel will be right back, so stay with us.